guys, I'm Puffalo and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're not, then welcome back. So today I am doing a tutorial on how I shade my clothes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, open Pitzler E, which is what I use. Make a new layer and, of course, make sure you have the template on here. If you don't have one, I will link the Roblox one in the description. So I'm just going to get a color to put on here. to do it like this we could put the template on top and then if you want to crop it go in with the selection tool right here and then make it to how you want it but of course do it on the correct layer all right and then on the selection tool do the ellipse and then you can make it 64 by 64. Alright, and then make the hole for the head, which you're going to want it to go into the torso a little bit. But try to center it, and then I usually go out like a little bit more. And then you have that. Okay, and then you're going to select that color that you made for the shirt and then make it a little bit darker, like that. Make a new layer. Press the brush tool and then right over here next to brush, you're going to want to make it this 20. Okay, and then you just go around all the edges. And if you want, you can like have it so then it just has a couple lines out there. And then go all the way around and do that. Okay, and then once you have that side, you can go ahead and put it above the template. Duplicate. And then flip horizontal. And then move it to the other sleeve. And then click that layer, right click on it. And then press this arrow right here to merge it. And then go to Filter, Details, and Blur. And then you're going to want to blur it. Um, this is good. And then you will want to lower the transparency. And then you have that. And if you want it to look nicer, you're going to want to select the layer with um, the single colors. And then select Pixels. And then go to this Wand tool right click and do invert selection go back to the shading and then press backspace on your keyboard um and then it looks like that but see it looks good okay and then you're gonna want to do the same thing for the torso So once you've done that, now you can go back to the original color that you put and then make it a little bit lighter. And then go ahead and make a new layer. You could use the 20. Just keep the brush at the same settings. Go ahead and just make like squiggles. Doesn't have to be like a perfect square, but it can if you want. And then once again, you're going to want to duplicate it, flip horizontal, and then just move it over to there, merge it, filter, details, blur, and blur it a little bit, and then right click and press, um, press blend mode, the none, and then overlay, and then lower the transparency. To however you like it and then once again you go to select pixels on the original color invert selection and then you do the backspace and then you're gonna want to do that to the torso
go back and adjust the transparency if you have to. And then if you want to like put wrinkles on it, go over to the new layer, go to this pen tool right here, make the color black, and then just put lines wherever you want. And now you're going to want to blur it just a little bit, just a tiny bit, nice, okay, and then duplicate it, move it a little bit above the ones that you just made, and go over to adjustment, color lookup, and then press this white one right, right here, and apply, and then you're going to want to right click, and merge those layers and then make it so it overlays and then you could change the transparency and boom now you have wrinkles now you don't have to make them as big as i did i made mine quite big i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you guys have a lovely day or night Bye.